Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Zen Tangle. I'm going to do um, several tangles in this kind of series that are an original Zentangle.com's pattern. I said many times <clears throat> I don't pronounce the tangle names. I'm really um, not too caught up in just what the name is. It's the tangling that makes all the difference in the world. And this is a fun one. There are several that they've done that are really similar. And if you saw my last video, uh, Dion, you'll think that's real similar to Dion, but not. So I am going to get my tile out. And again, I am not going to draw a border or a string. I'm just going to start out and I'm going to draw. And that's kind of a light little pen. Let me see if I can... We'll use a apprentice pen. It there we have a better line. And then I'm going to do another diagonal line that comes across and then one in the middle. Oh, even these are not very very um, dark. Let's see if there's more ink in this one. Now that we have there we go. There we have our vertical, horizontal, and diagonal. A lot of times when I draw right over the top again, I don't do so well. And now we're going to echo the inside. So I'm just going to come and echo the inside of this, or aura. And you notice that I really don't care about where that starts and stops. It can stop um, below or above. I recently went camping. <clears throat> And my husband said, as he went to get into bed, there was a spider on his pillow. And he went to grab it, and it scurried under my pillow. And he lifted up my pillow and caught the spider. Anyway, that's what he said. And I think this has that kind of a spider web look. So when I started to do it, I thought, oh yeah, that, that kind of reminded me of him trying to kill spiders while we were camping. So now we have it echoed all the way. Now we're going to come in and I'm going to do a little what I call a smiley face that starts on the line and then comes down and goes up. I like it to start and then it kind of trace it up the line. So I'm going to come in so you see this. Then you get a Kind of instead of just starting and stopping, I kind of take off because I want that kind of, um, I don't know, it just has kind of a different look. And I want this to be a heavy line so I can come back over the top of it and draw it again. So I get kind of a more definition. And then I'm going to do it again. And I rotate my tile. As I go, I find it much easier for me to rotate my tile. And then I'm drawing in the same direction all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. I'm going to go over that one again so that it has a little bit more definition and I've just defined that line a little bit more. I'm using an apprentice pen that has the um, plastic nib and I, I like them. Okay now we're going to do what? Actually we're probably going to do 
several more. I'm just going to do it until I come all the way out to the edge. So there I have three. Now I'm going to make that one a little darker. Now I can do another one. <clears throat> so it looks like I have five and we'll go, oh I didn't darken that one very much. We'll darken it. Just make that line a little heavier. We need one more right there I didn't get. Probably wasn't paying much attention as I was going around. So now we have, we have it all the way around the outside edge. So now I'm going to take this little line and I'm going to give it a little weight like a fescue. Just a little weight on the end of it. So they don't just look like they just end there. I don't always like my, my lines just to end if I'm doing a free standing, free form tangle. I wanted to have just a little weight on the end. So I love fescue and it just has a little weight on the end. So there we have it with a little weight. Now we can shade this. And I'm just going to take a plain um, pencil and I'm just going to give it a little shading on the inside, I think, of that. This is a very simple little tangle. Now I'm just going to blend. And there we have it, unshaded and shaded. And you can see what the drama happens when you shade. Now we could shade this one just a little different. So let's just do something a little different. We could, I'm just going to put a little graphite on the very outside. Actually, to be honest, I'm pressing a little harder. I'm laying down quite a bit of graphite out there. And now I'm just going to pull that graphite out. Out to the outside edge. So you can see you can give it two different looks. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. New videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And this is an original tangle from Zentangle.com. And you'll see the name in the description below. Or I put a banner across because I've already forgotten the name. But what's in a name? It is so much fun just to tangle and find ways that you can change and make it your own. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. And if you want to get notices, put uh, click that little bell and it will send you an email every time I upload so you don't miss a thing. Thanks again and have a great day.